This video is going to discuss chapter 4.1, graphing equations in slope-intercept form. So the first thing we're going to start with is the formula for slope-intercept. And so this is one that I'm hoping you heard last year, which is y equals mx plus b. So let's talk about what each of these means. So this x and this y are basically just two coordinates of a point on the line. So it could be any point along that line. So think about a line as an infinite number of points, almost like the way a TV, if you get really close to a TV, it's a bunch of dots. Same idea with a line. If you could kind of get yourself so close to that line, you would just see an infinite number of dots that are creating this line. And each one of those dots is a coordinate along the line. So that's the x comma y. So this is the x value of that point, and this is the y value of that point that's on the line. M stands for slope. Okay, and so this represents the slope of the line. And B represents the y-intercept. Now, keep in mind that any of these values can be negative at any time. So typically, in the formula, y and x are positive. However, you can have a negative slope. So, it could, if, so if the slope were negative 3, you would have a negative 3x. If the slope were positive, it would be something like 5x. Keep in mind that the slope can be a fraction. So you could have 1 fourth x. The slope could be 1, so then it would just be written as x, or negative 1, it might just be written as negative x. It can also be 0, and we're going to talk about that um, a little bit later. And then the y-intercept, same thing. This can be a fraction, this can be positive, this can be negative. So if it's negative, sometimes you'll get mx, and then this will be minus a number. So if like the y-intercept were negative 2, this would be mx minus 2, instead of writing plus negative 2. Alright, so we're going to use this formula a lot, so you may want to pause the video at this point to write down this formula, but we're going to come back to this bit slide probably in a little bit. So, if you look at this problem, write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line with a slope of 3 fourths and a y-intercept of negative 2. So using, come back to this, y equals mx plus b, the y and the, and the x are going to, we're going to include inside this formula, so this is going to be y equals m, so I need to figure out what is the slope, so this is m, x, plus, and this is my y-intercept, plus b. And so this could be plus negative 2. So what I want to, how I want to write this is, instead of writing plus negative 2, I just want to write minus 2. Remember we talked about the subtraction sign and the negative sign being identical, and that's not by coincidence. Okay, so this, the formula for this line that it has a slope of 3 fourths and a y-intercept of negative 2 is y equals 3 fourths x minus 2. y equals mx plus b. All right, so now let's take a look at a problem like this. So they're going to give us an equation, 3x plus 2y equals 6, and ask us to graph it. So there are a couple of ways that you could do this. One is, and we just took a, a quiz and a test on this, you could find the x and the y-intercept. You would then have those two points, so you have two coordinates on that line, and you could connect the dots. So to find the x-intercept, I would substitute a 0 in for y and determine what the x-intercept is. And then to find the y-intercept, I'm going to put a 0 in for, y, for x and determine the y-intercept. Again, that's one way, but that's not the way I want to focus on today. So the idea of what I want to work on today is getting this into, into y equals mx plus b. So what I need to do is get the y by itself on the left side, and then everything else is going to be on the right. So in order to do that, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. Now when I subtract 3x from this side, this will go away, obviously, and I'll be left with 2y equals, and then keep in mind I cannot subtract 6 minus 3x, that does not equal 3x, does not equal 3x, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write negative 3x plus 6. Now some people would write this as 6 minus 3x, the reason I want to write it this way is because I want it to be in mx plus b form, All right, so I want the x towards the left of this uh, expression and I want the constant on the right. But I'm not quite done yet. 
because this is 2y equals mx plus b, and I want it to be y equals mx plus b. So I now need to divide everything by 2. And I want you to notice that I have to divide everything by 2, not just this part. Okay, and so now this will cancel out. So I'm now left with y equals, this is negative 3 over 2x plus 6 divided by 2, this is 3. So I now know that this is my slope, and this is my y-intercept. So I'm now going to graph this on a coordinate plane, so I'm going to rewrite this equation. Negative 3 over 2, negative 3 halves x plus 3. So I'm going to rewrite this up here so I make sure I have it. y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. So the easiest way for me to graph this is to start by using the b. So keep in mind, I'm going to come back to this in a second, b is my y-intercept. So that is, where does it cross the y-axis? So it crosses at positive 3. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, and that's going to be my first point. Okay, so I now know I have this point, and I know that point because of the y-intercept. Had that been negative 3, it would have been 1, 2, 3, it would be down here. Had it been 1, it would have been here. Okay, so whatever this number is, is where I'm putting that dot. Remember, that's got to be along the y-axis. It has to be right on the line. And then I'm going to use rise and run to find my next point. And so I'm going to go negative 3 is my rise, and my run is 2. So I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to run 2, 1, 2. Now, the most common mistake that people make when they're using rise and run is instead of using this as my starting point, they'll come back to the origin and use the origin as a starting point, and they'll go down 3 and over 2, and their point would be here, which would make the line go in something like that. Okay, that's a mistake because you are rising and running from this point. Okay, the other thing you could have done if you wanted to make this negative 2 is you could have rose 3, 1, 2, 3, and then ran to this direction, You'd still be along that same line. Okay, if you want to find another point, you could go down 3 and over 2 again. But at this point, I have my two points on my line, and so I can draw a line. So the equation of the line negative 3 halves x plus 3 equals, or it is this. Now, one last thing I want to show you, and I'll come back to the graph in just a moment. I want you to notice that I did not use decimals, right? This is still, this is in fraction form. So I want you to keep things in fraction form. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do is talk about an equation of a line that is, if I give you this graph, so how can I find the equation of this line? So I'm looking for, first off, what is the y-intercept? And the y-intercept is 1, right, because that's this point. Where does it cross the y-axis? And then the slope I'm going from here, I'm going to rise negative 1 and run 1, 2, 3. So my slope then is negative 1 third. Sorry, it's really ugly 3. So my slope was from here, down 1, over 3. And the y-intercept is 1, so this is y equals m, negative one-third, x plus b. All right, we're going to give you a chance to practice some of that in class. Make sure that you have this formula written down somewhere because we're going to be using it a lot over the next couple of months. Thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to do the problems at the bottom of the page. See you in class.